in recovery, we're more than our recovery, we're more than our eating disorder, and we discover things about ourselves. So I'm going to find, or till, 25 things about me. Most of them happened in the past, but you know, I haven't been recovered for so long. It's just, I have the energy to think about it now. Number one, I have a coffee addiction inspired by the Gilmore Girls. Number two, I am a PT major, but our school doesn't really have one for me, so I'm like exercise science with a pre-professional emphasis. It's so long. Three, I can rip stick pretty well. I was pretty well known in my neighborhood, but now I can't because there are too many hills and I'll kill myself. Four, I also own my Heelys still and I ride them, so also hills, so, you know. But malls are a great place to go. Number five, I have really small feet, which explains why I can fit into the Heelys. And number six, I saved a lot of dogs in my day. And a chihuahua can get really heavy when you're carrying it and walking around. That's just, and it was a little dumb. Like one time I tried to save some um, other dogs and it was, it was a little bit scary situation. Number seven, I have a dachshund. Her name is Schnitzel. She's 12 and I love her. Number eight, I used to watch old TV shows when I was a kid, and so I know all about Mr. Ed, I Love Lucy, Home Improvement, everything. Number nine, I can beat anyone in Mario Kart Wii. I kill as Toadette in the bullet bike. Number ten, I play volleyball. Well, played. I was libero, or libero if you want to get super correct, which I don't. Number 11, I love running. 5K is my favorite event. I hate track, but it allowed me to run in the woods sometimes for training, so that's why I did it. Number 12, I play pickleball. Pickleball, which is a combination of tennis and badminton and ping pong, all three combined into one wonderful sport. Number 13, I contradance. And number 14 is that I don't really know how to dance. Which is why Contra Dance is so great because I get told what to do and if there's little improvisations I don't really have to do anything, I just have to follow. And I don't really have to think about beats because I can't think about beats because I have no rhythm. Number 15, I'm an all or nothing kind of reader. I hate it or I love it. Number 16, I reference Psych in the office all the time and I will catch any reference ever. If there were a pineapple, I would catch it. 17, I am a germ freak, and when I took microbiology and immunology, I became worse. So, thanks, doctor. Number 18, I dressed up as a freshman fairy at like a wiffle ball tournament for my freshman team, and I tried to jump over a fence, and I fell down, and somebody said, hey, the fairy can't fly, and it was hilarious. Number 19, well, we were in the grocery store and this lady said she had candy in her car and that I was cute and I should try and get some. So I went over and got some candy from her car. It was delicious and I went back to my mom and that was a big deal to her for some reason. Number 20, uh, if you're curious, if you stick your hand into automatic door closings, it will get caught. So, I mean, lesson learned, am I right? 21, I almost died drowning in alligator infested Waters 22 is I almost fell off a cliff in Badlands National Park and my dad caught me with his foot. And number 23, I swam with manatees and they have a surprising number of rules surrounding a manatee. You cannot just go up and hug it, which is a shame because they're so struggling. 24, I'm terrified of bees and wasps and all the like. I just... But surprisingly, I've never been stung by a wasp. I got stung once when I was six by a bee. Thankfully, no mo. And 25, I write like this, which is a little weird between the finger placement, but you know, whatever. All right, so those are my 25 facts about me. A lot of recovery is self-discovery. And although these didn't, weren't, you know, Aristotle revelations, they were stuff that makes me me. And I thought you would enjoy. Leave some facts about yourself, maybe? All right, I'll see ya. Bye.